It was a cold winter's night. The howling wind made me appreciate the fact that it was my night off and that I was able to snuggle under my warm blanket and avoid the freezing cold and snow. I checked the time and saw that it was a little after 1 a.m. I got up to use the bathroom, then went downstairs to get a drink of water. I stared out the window just above the sink as I downed the icy cold glass of water and observed the snow falling almost at a horizontal angle. Damn, I was glad I didn't have to be out there tonight. I placed the glass in the sink when I was finished with it and was about to head back upstairs to my bed when a soft light caught the corner of my eye just as I put my foot on the first step. I turned and saw an outline of light surrounding my front door. I slowly advanced towards it, curious about what I was seeing. I could feel a chill of cold air blasting up against me as I approached. I grabbed the doorknob and gave a light pull and the door opened without resistance. It wasn't like me to just leave my door unlocked, let alone completely open. Standing there, I realized the chill running up my legs from my feet. I initially thought it was simply a result of walking on a cold floor, but when I looked down and touched the bottom of my sock, to my surprise it was wet. That's when I was able to see it. From the outside light shining into my home, I could see footsteps leading from outside into my house. A creak of the floor behind me caused my heart to skip a beat. I hurriedly turned around and saw a large, crazed old man coming at me with a butcher's knife. I awoke in a cold sweat, out of breath and panicked. After I had a chance to catch my breath and fully awaken, I laughed as I realized it had only been a dream. Albeit one of the scariest I had in recent memory, it was just a dream. I went downstairs to go get a glass of water. An eerie sense of deja vu came over me as I stared through the window over my kitchen sink and observed the falling snow. From my position in the kitchen, I turned around to look at my front door. I breathed a sigh of relief when I didn't see the same surrounding glow I had saw in my dreams. I headed into the living room and was about to walk upstairs when the front door slightly eased open, revealing the soft glow. I took a step towards the front door, my heart beginning to race as I felt an icy sensation under my feet. The floor was wet. I didn't wait to hear any creaking. I quickly turned around, and coming towards me with the butcher's knife in his hand was the same large old man from my dream. Only this time, there wouldn't be any waking up for me afterwards.